was a wild week one. It's time for the CGN Hotline Show to begin right now. Week one is in the books. The scores are recorded. Let's take a look at the results of week one. Get this party started off right. We told you it would happen. The greatest fantasy took care of business against Red Jefferson Dung Run. Red Jefferson just never really got off the ground here. Kareem Hunt was not a factor and Todd Gurley did what he was supposed to do. Chalk one up, one and oh, the greatest fantasy. Next we saw the commish going up against Afternoon Delight. Close, close, close. As predicted, this was a squeaker. 103 to 101, Afternoon Delight. Close call, but the lazy perfectionists go to one and oh. Solo Supremo against the loose balls. I thought the loose balls were gonna win it. I was wrong. Exilo Supremo had some performances that just gave him an insurmountable victory. They go to 1-0 on the season. A disappointing start for the loose balls at 0-1. Next up, we have last week's upset pick of the week. And uh, we told you so, folks. The Sharks under Danny Heater moved to 1-0. Oh, look out, CGN. It was definitely a close one. It came down to Monday night and Melvin Gordon, but he just wasn't able to get the job done as the Sharks shocked the world going to 1-0. Our premier matchup of last week saw my favorite sweater and Coyote Snuggly each scoring 50, 150 points in a nail biter that sees Coyote Snuggly win the highest point total of the week, $15! Break out the champagne glasses for Coyote Snuggly. They got the 15 bucks. They've got the win this week at 1-0 by a mere .34 points over the favorite sweater. Tough loss, favorite sweater, but Coyote Snuggly goes to 1-0 and the lead on our cash chart. I'm the best. I'm the best. It's now time for the CGN Hotline Show's feature segment of the week. We were fortunate, folks, to get an exciting guest. They called in a couple of days ago. We've got footage of that interview now. Let's take you to it. It's pretty shocking. Our next guest needs no introduction, although we're going to give him one. Not only is he the star running back of the Los Angeles Rams and the greatest fantasy in the CGN League, but he's also the subject of an enticing new book, Lies, Luck, and Losing, How the Doge and His Loose Balls Almost Killed Todd Gurley's Career. Oh, wow. Welcome to the studio right now, Todd Gurley. How does it feel to be a running back, the number one selection, obviously, for the greatest fantasy? I mean, it's great talent out there either way. You know, you're going to get a guy that's going to work hard, but I still believe in the running back position in the first round for sure. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people think you're crazy if you don't draft a running back in the first round. What do you think about that? Oh, yeah, I'm with the running backs all day. Um, you know, I, I believe in the running back position. Well, you must be honored to be on the team that you are. I mean, every, every running back would. I mean, obviously. Well, the greatest fantasy formerly Team Bork is, uh, you know, they're a great squad that you're a part of. They got third place last year. How much of the credit do you think can be attributed to Team Bork owner and CEO Mr. Biggs? Um, I mean, obviously you have to give credit to the guy. I mean. All right, let's talk about the book for a second. Um, Lies, Luck, and Losing. How the Doge and his loose balls almost killed Todd Gurley's career. I mean, this is, it was written by Mr. Biggs. Um, so I guess we have to take it with a grain of salt since he's now your owner. But I mean, what was it like? I know that was, it's well documented. That was a tough point in your career. What was that like? It was very difficult. Um, this probably was like my like worst playing, playing year in my career. So 
Um, you know, just just trying to stay focused and just trying to week after week, even though it's not happening, just just stay positive about everything, keep working hard, and just say this is my week. What kind of responsibility did you guys take? You know, as players on the team. Um, you know, as as players, it was tough, but you know, we understand the business. We didn't do a good enough job. But come on now, let's talk about the Doge for a second. It was well documented when you were traded to, at the time, Team Bork for a, a draft pick that uh, you were highly critical of the Doge and just basically his ownership style. I mean, what, what, was, what was wrong with his approach to running his team? Just, just the mistakes we was making. I mean, we practiced as much as any other team. We had meetings as much as any other team. And it's when we go out there, it was... It was just turnovers, um, mental mistakes. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. I mean, clearly, you're you're playing with the greatest fantasy. You were the number one player last year. <clears throat> I don't know. Do you have any um, Do you have any message for any of the players that might still be with the loose balls? Um, I mean, I don't know. I'm not in that situation. This has been an interview with Todd Gurley running back for the Los Angeles Rams and the greatest fantasy. Uh, we really appreciated his time calling into the studio. I'm just as shocked as you are to hear how bad things were at the loose balls a couple of seasons ago. They're 0-1 this season, but hopefully they'll get the ship turned around. Now, it's time to take a look at Week 2's matchups. First matchup is a battle of unbeatens at 1-0 as the greatest fantasy goes against Coyote Snuggly and his big 15 bucks. This matchup boils down to whether Golden Tate can repeat the ridiculously good performance he had in week one or will Todd Gurley roll up another one. We're going to pick the greatest fantasy here, folks. We just feel too good about Gurley. Our next matchup sees a battle of 0-1s as my favorite sweater goes up against Afternoon Delight and the hungry for a win, Crofty. 150 points wasn't enough for the favorite sweater last week. I have a feeling a similar point total will do it for them this week. Afternoon Delight has a fine squad. They're going to make a run at it, but in the end, I have a feeling it's going to be the favorite sweater. Stop! The Lazy Perfectionists and Exolo Supremo each take their 1-0 records onto the field. I would have never have thought that a team that relies so heavily on the New York Giants could be so good, but Exolo Supremo's tandem of Beckham Jr. and Saquon Barkley is going to be enough to take the day again. Now it's time for the CGN Hotline Show Upset Pick of the Week! A desperate one-eyed fighter. Brawling willingly just to try to get in the shot that will finish things in. Oh, the uppercut! What an uppercut by Douglas and down goes Tyson. He, he, it's over. It's over. Mike Tyson has been knocked out. Unbelievable. Last week, the Sharks made the upset pick come true with their shocking win over Pimps McGee. This week, however, the Sharks are going to lose. They are favored to beat Red Jefferson Dung Run after they were embarrassed in week one against the greatest fantasy. But folks, this is the week that Red Jefferson Dung Run makes a comeback. In week one, Kansas City scored a bunch of points. They just weren't in Kareem Hunt's hands. Well, this week, Kareem Hunt finds the end zone, and Red Jefferson Dung Run takes the victory. The last matchup is a rivalry that has gone on as long as the earth has been here. Pimps McGee and the doctor, Joel Kincannon, going up against the Loose Bulls and the Doge. It's Ali Frazier. It's the Celtics against the Lakers. It's the Warriors against the Cavs. It's the Loose Balls against Pimps McGee. And it will be close. 
but the loose balls will take the W under Tom Brady. That's a wrap for the CGN Hotline Show, boys. Week two awaits us. This is Bork Legendary saying I'll see you on the field.